everybody. Lexi. My name's Lexi. Um, I want to say a few things to my teacher, Miss Hillary, first, and to everybody here. I want to thank everybody for coming to hear everybody read, even though everybody has different stories and different paths that they come to. And when I first began here, I was really nervous. I don't like to read, I never like to write, but joining this class really made me feel like I can do it and having the support of everybody in this class is just like really important. And I want to thank Miss Hillary for giving me this opportunity to sign up and now I'll start reading. <laughs> if I can find my page. Okay, I'll be reading um, my story, Wooden Brick, on page 90. Here I am just standing, when what I wanted to do was forbidden. As I stand here with my mind stuck and my body frozen, I try to move, but I can't. How can I? My worst fear has come to life, losing my family. My heart is shattered in millions of pieces that I can't bear to pick up. I sit here on top of piles of wooden brick as I that I used to call home. I sit with the pain and regret as I try to remember the memories that I grew up with in this house. Like playing tag and running down the hall while my fingers are lightly touching the wall. Like arguing over the last of the toothpaste and who would be the first on the tire swing. I start to shed tears as my pain gets worse, feeling overwhelmed with loneliness now that my family is gone. I close my eyes as tight as possible to try and stop crying. As I cry, I remember the time my little sister, um, Margaret, had a habit of spinning and how it would get on my nerves. I realized that I would rather her do that every day than admit that I could still have her with me right now. I can only imagine if we were still here. All I, or if I was still here, if, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Um, if they were still here. All I want to do is hold them and tell them how much I love them. It's funny how when people are gone, you realize how much they truly mean to you. I suddenly smell the scent of spring. My mother always smelled like spring. Then I felt a faint touch on my shoulder, but when I looked, no one was there. But from the smell, I could tell it was her. I knew it was her. She was trying to reach out to me. The smell dissipates into the air. I know that it's her trying to tell me that it's okay. As I fill my heart with relief, I finally start to move. I start to climb down the piles of wooden brick. I look up and see my little brother standing there in front of me with one sock and a bruise on his leg. I rush to grab and hold him. While I hold him, I start to wonder how is this possible? They're all dead. Then I realize I never made it down the piles of wooden brick.